Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well cuz welcome here to the first episode of Are you planning to travel to? One day I was like thinking uh, about creating a new segment uh, on my uh, YouTube channel and I was like, oh, so let's do something a little bit different than the, the vlog that I, I usually do. And then I come up with this idea to, uh, to really describe all my experience and also to share with you all the nice spots, uh, all the nice activities to do inside that, uh, that city and also the good spot where to eat, where to go for a, for a drink or to party. It's all here in Are You Planning to Travel To? So today's episode we're going to talk about Dubai! So why Dubai? Dubai is my favorite city. It's beautiful, for me, huh? beautiful. But just because all the buildings are very high, um, but it's also a bit warm. There are a lot of Filipinos. Dubai, it's clean, very clean. Uh, you can do a lot of things in Dubai. Not just sightseeing or uh, just going to the mall to have aircon because it's too warm, but there are plenty things to do in Dubai. So first of all, the first time I went to Dubai was in 2016. May 2016 and then I came back last year July uh, 2018 and you know there's a big difference between the those two periods so when I went in July last year oh then it was so hot it was so hot so hot no air at all so we went out one day I was like oh that was that was not the same weather when I went uh, two years ago. So I was like, oh, that's why I understand now why the tickets were very cheap. So for me, my advice, if you're planning to go to Dubai, uh, it's better to visit uh, around yeah, like us in uh, May, April. They said that the be best period is uh, December because the, uh, the weather is a little bit colder because it is so warm in Dubai, the period of July, August, and September. Summer, we got some air out here. We got two bottles of water. <laughs> the weather is so freaking hot. So, what are the things to do in Dubai? So first of all, if it's your first time in Dubai, I suggest you to take uh, the sightseeing bus. Yeah, there's there are a lot of companies in Dubai that's, that offer that service. So we have the sightseeing tour, the, the red bus one, big bus. Uh, for me, it's better to take two days because Dubai is such a big city. It has the modern city and it has also the old city. So if you are want to up off and take some beautiful pictures, it's better to take the two days. So where are the best spots? For example, if you want to take the bus, where should I up off? Dubai? Well, Dubai, Dubai. So I suggest you to start at Dubai Mall. Also, for example, you can start at the morning, 8 a.m. You can 9 a.m. You're at Dubai Mall, take some, take a breakfast. Uh, yeah, Pinoy breakfast, it's good. So you go get, go to Shaoqing or uh, Jollibee. Then taste our uh, Topsy Log. Oh, and then after your breakfast, you can take the bus from Dubai Mall and then you, you go around, around uh, all Dubai. And then after, after around 6 p.m., I don't know what time it really, uh, what's the last bus, then you can end your day at Dubai Mall. Why? Because there you can watch the dancing fountains but also uh, and also you have also Burj Khalifa that offers that light uh, play 
eat at Dubai Mall if you are hungry. So we have the Atlantic, of course the Palm, the one the Palm, the bus goes there. Then you can stop at the, at the Atlantic, take some beautiful pictures of this beautiful huge hotels. Then um, you have also the Marina, my favorite. Marina is so beautiful. Those huge buildings, those sky skyscrapers. Wow. At Marina Bay, you have what you have. It's you can walk, uh, you can do a lot of pro promenade uh, along along the river, and then you have also near Marina Bay, you have um, a lot of plenty of restaurants and also clubs, and then you have the beach in the afternoon. Uh, in the afternoon you can do yeah let's say end of the day when there's a sunset a lot of people go to the beach because it's less warm a night swimming then also the bus goes also to Burj Al Harab of course Burj Al Harab it's uh, before Burj Khalifa came the Dubai main attraction was Burj Al Harab because it's a seven star hotel wow and it's very beautiful if you see it live. Near the Burj Al Harab, you have also one beach, the Jumeirah, Jumeirah Beach, uh, which is also uh, so one of the beaches of Dubai. Okay. You can hop off and then stay f there for, uh, let's say, for about two hours or an hour. And uh, usually, like I said, people prefer to go to the beach uh, around 7 p.m. When there's no more sun and then if ever you're used to the, the the view of all those buildings you can now go straight to the old city and visit some souk so their their market where you can find a lot of gold vendors so you can buy gold for for a cheaper for a cheaper price and also there are other things for very nothing so uh, yeah, then you can also do the the small boat tour of uh, just near the how you call it? I think it's the Hilton Hotel, and then you can do a boat tour of their small boat. It's a simple boat. I'll, I'll show you here. It's like this. Besides the the bus tour, uh, you have also other activities that you can do um, outside the bus tour. Go to Dubai and go to Abu Dhabi, which is a one hour and uh, thirty minutes drive. You have all those uh, beautiful mosques, so they are very famous for their mosque, where they you wear their cultural suits. I don't know what's the name exactly, but I'll I'll just put it down here. And then you have also a lot of people do a, a one day visit at Abu Dhabi because Dubai there are more things to do. If you are not a beach people, so you can do swimming time swimming time you can go a lot of uh, skyscrapers they offers a lot of um, rooftop swimming pool for a day so you can go there then sip your cocktail then chill and other than that you have also the atlantic so the atlantic the aqua park this one it's a, a must to activity you like uh, adventures adrenaline rush Go there. You should go there. They have one of the scariest uh, slides uh, all time, I think. And um, you, you can. It's very huge. You have uh, an artificial beach inside that aqua park. There are a lot of slides. You can chill there. Some bathing. You can do everything in that place. It's so huge, and it's good for the families for couples, for everybody. So go and try that slide that goes like this. And then yeah, there's also dolphins, so you can also uh, add some uh, some dirhams to, uh, really, uh, to really do that activity. You can also do a jeep safari activity. Yeah, this one is so good. It's a half day activity. Uh, it starts uh, in the afternoon until 6 p.m., 6 to 7 p.m. And then, yeah. So we have the first activity is the safari. So um, the driver brings you to uh, to the to the desert, and then he's driving all around the dunes, up and down like a roller coaster. And then um, after the activity, um, you stop in a place. You can rent an ATV and then uh, drive 
uh, in the desert or picture takings with uh, with a camel uh, and then uh, afterward you have your dinner and then there's a belly dancing show while you are eating your uh, your dinner and of course don't forget your fine apple juice so you have that you have the so the things to do you have the, those activities the bus sightseeing tour you can just uh, chill if you want to chill and do some promenade uh, Marina Bay you can go to their beach the beach you can also visit the Burj Al Harab um, and then go to Jumeirah Beach uh, you have also Dubai Mall with his its fountain and Burj Al Burj Khalifa I also forget the Mall of Emirates yeah Mall of Emirates this one is also so good with it's a uh, snowboarding snowboarding so there's a mall where you can do s snowboard or skiing inside that mall and uh, yeah, it's one of the beautiful uh, spots also last but not the least if you are looking for an adventure uh, activity very adrenaline rush better than uh, than the aqua park do the skydive Dubai I did it last year and it was wow it was wow if you have the opportunity to do it do it even though it's quite expensive let's say it's a little bit expensive if i convert it in euro it is 500 euros but it's what is included you have the jump you have the the videos so uh, you can have a remembrance of your vid of your jump a lot of pictures yeah for the gram for the gram and the experience will be priceless something you, you don't do that uh, every uh, every day if you really have the chance to do it go jump take that plane and go jump and uh, go first go pay the 500 euros uh, up on on that plane and then jump jump, jump. And then feel like you're a bird for a uh, for uh, 15 minutes so here is the full video of my jump last year enjoy Now, how are you doing, man? Welcome good, to Skydive good. Dubai today. How are you doing? Good, I'm fine. fine. Good? You. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Good. Anything to say before you go? Well, uh, let's do this, yo. Yeah, Come man. And, uh, That's right. Shout out to all from Belgium and the Philippines. Shandong Bio. All right, man. Have a good time, brother. Here we go, yeah. man. Here we go.
that, man? Oh, man, that's nice, that's nice. Woo. Love yeah. it. Very, very nice. Cool, man. Thank you very much for coming to Sky Love Divided. Bye, dude. Thank you. Take yeah. Care. Okay. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, there will be a lot more uh, episodes of Are You Planning to Travel too? I hope you like it. Uh, just like the video, comment below what uh, you find uh, very interesting and also what you didn't like about this video. And then, of course, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Love you guys. Thank you.